hey hello everyone so this session will be looking some of the interesting networking concepts cloud networking and what is AWS offering AW, AWS VPC which is a virtual private cloud and all its components serves as a core for networking in AWS cloud. So with as any of my other videos, I would like to present in such a way who are very like a new to it can understand. And then the ex I go the expert level, all the interrelated technologies or whatever that it is interrelated that I provide details for that so an expert can understand as well understand and then get to the next expert level so what is the like what is the idea here what is networking basically so when we see if you take an example of a home there is a router and a modem is there maybe a router is there all the other devices are connected your computer is connected and then few other devices are there uh, like and connected to that modem or to that router and they can communicate as well like to each other because they are in the same network you your computer maybe a laptop they want to print out something within the network if there is a printer then you can be connected to the printer for your from your computer and then print out something that is just a very very basic thing that i'm telling about the networking now moving forward a broader idea and a broader discussion of what the networking in a cloud is how it looks so for example i'll take one region take it as North Virginia okay and call it as US East North Virginia by the way this is one of the region in AWS as well but we don't go to AWS yet first think about there is a region it's US East North Virginia it's it's a North Virginia region and then this is the whole name of it is USC is North Virginia and there they are like few cities in it okay and one of its city take it as that city as a zone in that zone there is an office set up with all the networking in the place and connected the LAN is set up uh, the whole of the routers are set up the network uh, IP addresses are given uh, to uh, the devices there and that serves as the whole of the, the uh, networking all of that networking in that zone is something uh, will uh, be all of uh, the offices connecting uh, to within that network and that is dedicated and private within that office only so in one city take it as zone one for that similarly in another place in Virginia there is one another office for that company and in that office a similar other network is set up uh, all of the devices are interlinked a LAN is connected uh, LAN is there set up and uh, both the offices are connected to a wired network so we are not looking anything here um, uh, internet or anything so far nothing it's just a wired LAN connection set up in other networking and it is connecting from one office to the other office and within one region so that is US East North Virginia zone one if there is one network set up and there is a zone two, the another network is set up 
so this is something looks like a company's network without any internet without anything there is no cloud here there is nothing now a similar setup we if something is migrating to cloud we might need a similar setup then all of those work has to be migrated if even if we are not looking at migrating maybe something like a similar setup how we can do it on the AWS that is something I would like to tell you here so similarly when we come to AWS the AWS infrastructure I as I have uh, discussed earlier all of it's how it is spread out throughout the world and serves for the customers to use its infrastructure for their resources. Similarly, AWS has a region, US East North Virginia. There are a few others, the Canada Central is there, US West is there, it's all over the place, it's all over the world. They have few regions that where their infrastructure is spread out. So now we take the US East one that AWS is providing. So within that, AWS US East North Virginia region, it has few availability zones. Zone 1A, 1B, kind of like that. And now, when you have like an AWS VPC, what how AWS VPC is it is a network you can set up across the region that within once you create a network for a specific CIDR CIDR block we will discuss what CIDR block and we will discuss everything all of its components later like in this uh, following videos I'll continue with networking and I complete all of the VPC in few of the sessions to make it very clear and very easier for everybody to understand. So now we have like a VPC, a virtual private cloud. That is an offering from AWS. And VPC, it is a dedicated network, a dedicated to the customer, dedicated to the business who owns that. When you create AWS account, by default in all the regions a default vpc is created you can create a custom vpc as well in any region so if you take an example like we are discussing now us east north virginia there is a vpc a default is also created same way you can create it uh, your own vpc this is a this a vpc will be a dedicated to customer and it is an isolated network isolated means no other customer will have access to it unless you provide that is something like a different discussion we can look at it but that whole of that network how you have like a setup in the data center in your offices, it's similarly you own that network in the AWS infrastructure within a specific region. So now that is it's, it's secure and it's no other customer have access to it. And that is a dedicated network that is isolated from anyone else only who owns that network, who has permissions they only they can deploy their resources and interact with the resources within that virtual private cloud that is aws vpc and now you can this is spread out across the region as i said so within you can deploy the resources within different zones in that region within aws so just a refresher for AWS infrastructure. There, is, there are regions within that availability zones. I'm repeating, I have said that, and this is in the same video as I also have provided the details. So VPC spread out across the region. And how we can deploy 
once we create a network, there are few more, like there are components for uh, VPC. And for the VPC components, what are those components are is the subnets, one component. Subnets within the VPC, a broader uh, like a VPC CIDR range, you can create smaller, smaller CIDRs, a smaller, smaller like align, assign some of the smaller, some of the bunch of IP addresses to one zone and then some few other to another zone, a few other to the third zone. That is how we are like, that is the idea of the subnets. And then within the subnets, you can deploy the resources. We will discuss subnets also in our upcoming sessions. So now we have like a network created, a default network is there or a custom network that you're creating. And that is in the one of the AWS region that is a dedicated and isolated network. You can deploy your resources there. And then we were discussing of the VPC components. Now one of it, it is, is the subnets. The other, and also in our further sessions, we will look in, into the CIDR ranges. What are the CIDRs? What are the IP addresses? How can it be assigned? What are the private networks? And what is what are all, all about the private network IP addresses that is approved and everybody is using? So we will discuss in further uh, sessions. That is for the CIDRs and also for the subnets. And one another component is security group. That is security group is a VPC component. It is attached to the resources for the what network can be having access uh, to that resources. So some of the rules that we will uh, define in the security group and uh, only those IP addresses or the resources or any other security group, whatever, they can access the resource. So we will discuss the security group as well. And NACLs, Network Access Control List. So security group is attached to the resources at the resource level. And then Network Access Control List, that it is at the subnet level. So for an, within a zone level. All of these component that I am saying, we will definitely go more deeper into that. In this session, I'm just giving you a broader like main idea or wow, how you can set up your own network that is your own you can call and within your own account, you deploy your resources that is secure. Nobody can have access to it. So this is something like a broader idea I would like to everybody to understand and how it is set up in the AWS infrastructure. That, that's the idea I would like to everybody to have in this video. So the AWS VPC and all of these components, this is, these are the CIDRs, setup, the subnets, and then security group, knuckles. These are few of the component. Now going to other components, endpoints, VPC endpoints Two, from a private network, you want to connect to the other AWS services. For that, you have to use a VPC endpoint. We will discuss what kind of endpoints, how many endpoints are, what, what type of the endpoints are there and how you can connect in our sessions later. Similarly, we have few other things that is a router. How you have uh, one another component of VPC is the VPC router. You must have a router in your home. You may be having a routers, modems in your offices, in your data center. Uh, similarly, a virtual router is set up at the cloud that is VPC, AWS VPC router. That is one another component. So these are some of the main components that it, it, is, it is having, the VPC is having. And few other I will list out that is the internet gateway because vpc is a private network now you want to go to some outside world like a internet or some other network um, some other like um, the resource over the internet so you have to if you have to reach out to internet from a vpc there is uh, you have to use uh, it, it goes through the internet gateway that is one thing and 
So one another component is the NAT gateway that we will discuss once after discussing the subnets what are private and then the public subnet how that it is connected how you can go outside to a network from a private net uh, subnets to outside to the public subnet and then go to the uh, internet that is one another uh, discussion we will do in uh, our further uh, sessions that is the NAT gateway and also there are few other components and uh, components in the sense uh, there are few other discussions that I would be doing in these uh, networking sessions is are the direct connect for connectivity to the private uh, like uh, to the data center from AWS cloud to the data center everything is connected and that is a wired connection so that is that we will discuss and VPN we will discuss how the data center and the uh, from your office data center it can be connected through uh, it is this VPN is through the internet connection and the direct connect is a private dedicated wired connection though that is one another uh, component uh, we will uh, uh, discuss and uh, I think that is uh, some of the most uh, thing a uh, transit gateway is there and uh, then after VPC, we, once we discuss in uh, details, we'll come like, uh, just, uh, we will talk about more uh, uh, the, what is that, VPC peering connections and um, maybe the shared VPC from other uh, uh, like accounts kind of. So there are uh, things that I will discuss in detail and all of the VPC components and how you can set up the network how the IP addresses are assigned, how the interconnectivity between the resources, and a lot of things, a whole of the idea of networking, and in the v, like AWS cloud, so you can have a similar setup how your data center is. If you have like a multiple offices, you can have um, in a multiple zones that can be connected that can be set up as well on uh, the AWS cloud and the multiple availability zones. If your offices is, is, are spread out throughout the world, they have different regions. It's, it's bigger discussion, more bigger, like um, like everything covering everything to from a basic to all at the advanced level, everything of all about the networking. So that is all about uh, for this uh, video. I want to make some uh, shorter videos now because it, it might be taking uh, some uh, to have like everyone follow through well each concept in uh, individually understand. So take uh, for today's session, take this VPC, a broader idea. We will discuss all of its component in our later sessions. Great. Thank you so much.